Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future. And, let's go see what Jennifer's up to. Yeah, you're, you're not actually painting anything, it's already there. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. No. Uh... Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? Yeah, I do. What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, far? You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Um, so... She knows Romeo and Juliet? That's interesting. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your- No, no, listen, you got <laughs> me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Um... What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend? Oh, lighten up. Um... Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! <laughs> this law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not and say we did. <laughs> Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Uh... Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. I'm okay with punk, but metal is best. And what she's listening to does not sound like punk to me. That sounds more like hardcore metal. Whatever it's actually called. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. Yeah. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Eh. Uh. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Yep. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person, 
is a dork. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Um... Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. <laughs> Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Um, I don't know what to do right now. What is it now? Uh... Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Okay, I think I've watched everything now. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! I think. Um, apparently no. Locked. Any anything here? They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. Yeah, probably is. Look out, son! Mom? I didn't know you could do an about turn in such a small area. Yeah, turn around. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, I can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. Yeah. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic <laughs> duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, uh, right. The first time I played it, I was like, what the... What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says... A scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you, too. 
I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Oh, uh, yeah, you. sure. Um, does anyone do sports around here, I wonder? Was it dangerous? Uh... Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Peeping Tom. Ah, Dad. Try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Another day in Hill Valley. No, I will not. Do you want to hear a bunch of noise? That yeah. the hell? Don't violate the perimeter, son! Why? I, I, I actually don't get why it's like that. Even though what I know a lot about Please this game. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad, I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further o- Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. It's not connected yeah, to your amp. Why did it America, have a distortion? Something is in this game. Never trust the guy with less than a thousand demerits, am I right? Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at Soup Mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out, what do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. And I need to end the episode, so see you guys next time. Bye-bye.